dinner uh, No face, no case, no picture no For place, big stakes, my dinner Give it up. Give it up. Flip that, Flip that. Canal Street, Street. Flip, back. Flip back, last week, last week. Old, money. Old money, this week, this week. New, racks. New racks, never buy none more mm -mm. If I can't afford to get frat mm -mm. Stunned in your foreign car mm -mm. You keep riding rental tags mm -mm. Ew. Heard you roll the other lane, we are not the same Couple thousand in my pocket, this pocket chip Rubber bands on my own, this is not for play I put 20 on the crib, while you cop a chain Ugh. I know they hate it or love it Today I want to show you guys the accessories that I've picked up so far for the Super 73. And, you know, honestly, this is something, this is a part of the culture of Super 73. This is a bike that you're going to ride. And, you know, number one is safety. Like I told you guys in my previous video, if you haven't watched that video where I got the bike, I unboxed it, and I spoke about my purchase experience from Super 73. Check that video out right after this one. So safety first. This is the POC uh, Coron Air Spin helmet. Now this is a really dope helmet. It's really built with the intentions of like downhill biking, but that's good though, because you get a full face helmet. So you get that front face protection if you were to fly over the handlebars and hit your front of your face. This is a breakaway lid, so it'll come off and fly right off. So that way if you did fall, that wouldn't cause your head to spin and you know possibly risk injury of your neck. So this helmet is not cheap, but neither is your life or your brain you know what i mean you got to protect yourself so i think it's worth spending for the safety of yourself and possibly keeping yourself alive so that was the first accessory that i definitely picked up now another accessory that's in the uh, realm of safety is a rear view mirror now this is a really nice cool one that i picked up second at first i picked a traditional cheap one off of Amazon that went like right up here on the handlebar. It was a lot bigger and a little bit more apparent. So yeah, I had the traditional one that was up here and everything, but it wasn't really my swag and my style. I came across this one, which is a lot more small yet effective. It has the coating on it as well, and it blends right in with the bike. You fold that right up, it's as if you don't have any additional accessories. It's a more pleasing aesthetic, but obviously when you do that, you're gonna spend a little bit more. But in my honest opinion, it was absolutely worth it. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. I'm gonna have links to everything that I show you in this video. Another accessory I grabbed is a phone holder. Now this is the, I forgot the uh, brand, I think it's called Gub. And this one's nice. It looks good, they have different colors and options but the number one thing is is extremely sturdy as soon as your phone is in there it's in there that's the number one thing you want to do i mean you're putting your smartphone on the bike that you're traveling at high speeds if your smartphone just goes flying off bye bye smartphone you guys know i love my tech so i definitely pick that up having your phone here is good for gps as well as the app that interacts with the bike and my gopro so another accessory i picked up i'm gonna be out and i'm gonna be on my bike i don't always want to have a backpack on my back unless I'm carrying camera equipment and so forth. But even then, I can bring smaller camera equipment. That's why I grabbed this small Blackburn bag, which barely fit, but I got it to work. So it barely fits, but it works. And it has like this drop down part so you could get more in the bag. As you can see, I have this thing overly stuffed. I'm gonna be pulling out some of the accessories that I have inside of there to show you guys. There's something else that I did in the terms of safety and longevity and being able to ride is inside of my tires I have armadillos. I don't know, I guess it's like liquid fibers, but it goes inside the inner tube. And if you ever get a puncture, and this stuff is like absolutely like military grade, it fills the puncture and you're able to keep riding. That's very important because you might park your car somewhere and go driving for miles, or you leave your house and you like what, 15, 20 miles out? And if you catch a flat, that would absolutely suck. I've seen this stuff in action, trust me, it's like absolutely fire. You guys can see that red speaker, that's just like an old JBL speaker that uh, I just added on there. So if I ever want to ride with my music, I got it. Let's get into the bag. And before I get into the bag, let me show you guys this right here. Now this is just a more of a personal uh, accessory that I grabbed, which is the GoPro. I wanted the GoPro because I wanted to be able to capture riding footage because to me, as a creator, I want all kinds of angles and things to help portray the video story that I'm trying to capture. So having that GoPro and I just grabbed this clip mount so I could just clip it on my helmet uh, was absolutely a must which is why on this handlebar this is another gopro mounting point which that i can absolutely mount anywhere on this bike and get any type of angle i want let's go inside this bag so obviously i got tripods you know i'm a creator gopro tripod nd filters for the gopro hero 9 grab these from polar pro fire here's a tool this is a um l key hex tool 
with a bunch of different sizes super important i can use that just say if this were to come loose or anything like that i can retighten it a bunch of various other parts on the bike except this hex tool and i'm able to use it so super important got my hand sanitizer <laughs> you know what i mean now here's something else that I really want to show you guys. So this right here is a Xiaomi air pump. This thing is absolutely fire. You set the PSI and you're able to fill up your tires with this and it's nice, small, compact. It's a rechargeable battery that charges via micro USB. Carry this on the road in a minimal way and have an air pump. Absolutely love this. Highly recommend it. It's super, super handy. Another accessory that I picked up are these handy tire levers in case if I ever I needed to like, you know, remove a tire, get to an inner tube, change an inner tube. Like as I said in my previous video, I'm waiting for more inner tubes to go in stock so I can have inner tubes, you know, within this bag carrying with me just in case if you were ever to get a flat. Actually, I need more tools too. I need the tools to be able to take off the tire and stuff like that. Okay, another accessory that I picked up for riding are these gloves. These are riding gloves. Like motorcycle gloves but these are important because think about it uh not only are they good for helping you have grip while riding but if you ever were to take a spill at any type of high speed you want to protect your skin so having gloves on wearing long clothing at the end of the day i did pick up these gloves to help protect my hand i like to wear hoodies and uh, jeans as long as the weather allows so that way i'm protected so there are some more accessories and things i want to grab i want to get a lock like a nice heavy duty lock possibly two of them so that if i go places on the bike i'm able to lock it up while I run into the store or something like that because eventually I wanna start traveling on this more. You know, wherever it fits in and wherever, you know, it's not necessary for me to grab a car, I can take my e-bike, my electric bike, you know. It's good on the environment, good for me. I get to get out and have that freedom and let that wind hit me and enjoy. So I need to get the lock as well as there's alarms and things like that. I'll get a bike alarm for this. There's a lot more I wanna to do too, even cosmetically to help spruce it up. I haven't really done much I just got it, but there's a lot of great mods out there. Um, there's replacement fenders if you wanna do the carbon fiber type of thing. Eventually I wanna debatch this right here and give it more swag, you know what I mean? I mean, Super 73 has branded this bike ridiculous. Like there's Super 73 written all over this thing, so I'm definitely gonna debatch this. I don't know, there'll be a couple other cool little mods that I look to do. I might possibly replace the headlight. This headlight is good and everything and it looks good, but there's also the one from Kane Built that looks absolutely even doper once you put that on this uh, e-bike. So I wanna get some new pedals. I'm probably gonna get some dope red ones. They're out of stock right now, but I'm waiting for them to come back in stock. I might do something fun with the rims and things. We'll see, we'll see. As we go and as I ride it more and more, and as I learn about other mods that are out there that are available, I wanna make this thing my own. The seat isn't bad but there are replacement seats that you can get. A lot of people out there in the Super 73 community, any other dope mods that you think I should look into or uh, possibly do for this RX, go and send it down my way in the comment section. Link me, hook me up, plug me in. All of the Super 73 groups that you might be in where I could get some dope ideas, go ahead and plug me down in the comment section below. Oh yeah, here's another thing that I did, I forgot. Uh, this is cable wrap. You see this in PCs for cable management? And on computer, you know, desk setups, I put it on my e-bike. I've seen that on a couple other people, and I like it because it cleans up, like, the loose wires and just kind of gives it more of a uniform look. All in all, I will say this, and I'm going to eventually do a review on the RX. That'll be coming up next. But this e-bike is, is it's lit. It's fun. It's dope. It's not cheap. But, hey, thus far, I have enjoyed using it. So, yeah, just the mental freedom and peace of mind of riding is the number one justification you know love when they hate it. When they last year was living basic no, no, no. haters on the other side three up three between the lines no i got some mains with it made it through some evil times late night on some demon time for the spread i need love i can't like it see love free time brainstorm you can assume with your chains on i can see none with the lights off cap you've been the main one Coolin' when I got my mains on Show money, but those aren't the same ones I've been told you that it was game on Been winning since I was on game one go, go, go. Telling me how to live like you made me Go dumb and I blame you made me Money longer than a grown-up baby Step crazy in a new Mercedes Thinking that's 550 Five seats, 50 kids and Prime steak on my dinner Nike tech for the D 